Last night, Fox 10 went to San Diego to reveal how they're turning ocean water into drinking water and see if it's a possible solution for us here in the desert. Tonight, Steve Nielsen is back in San Diego, uncovering that even in sunny Southern California, they have bigger plans than the ocean to fight the drought. As he found out the answer for them and us might be in the sewers. The waves lapping on the sandy shores of San Diego are the future glasses of water on kitchen counters. Desalination, the process of stripping the salt from the ocean and turning it into drinking water, is well underway on California's coast. 10% of the drinking water in the county comes from Poseidon and Carlsbad. As Arizona searches for water solutions, a desal pipeline from Mexico has been pitched. Expensive, complicated, and massive power demands. That's not an easy process by any means, and but it's so critical to have these conversations now and not be waiting a year, two years, five years, the point when we actually need something new and it can't hope it happen overnight. So we need to be making that movement now. In Arizona, we don't have a saltwater problem. We have a water problem. And our allotment of the Colorado River keeps getting smaller and smaller. Cities and towns have become resourceful in the desert searching for solutions. This year, Arizona will lose one fifth of its allotment from the Colorado River. Countless steps have been taken to solve water supplies. Conservation plans have become guides from the West Valley to the East. For years, Phoenix and Scottsdale have recycled water, churning it into irrigation water or power plant cooling. But it's not enough, just like desalination in San Diego. Even with an endless supply of salt water on the horizon, city officials here are looking at other billion dollar solutions to try to combat this drought. A few miles inland, you can see that solution in the form of cranes, pipes, and cement. The city's largest infrastructure project. This is the future site of a very expensive water treatment plant that will turn sewer water into drinking water. You're not alone if you just said yuck, but the city of San Diego says it's very clean and very safe. Education is key as they've taken tens of thousands of residents through this small test area to show them how it works. That's why we've been running this test facility for a dozen years and have taken 50,000 samples of the water and tested the quality. We're confident it's safe. Amy Dorman walked us through the process that's remarkably similar to desalination. The wastewater is first pressurized through an ultra filtration process, shooting it through thousands of hollow fibers to remove, well, the waste. Then the reverse osmosis process runs the pressurized water through this tightly wound sheet. You can't see the pores. You only see them under a really powerful microscope, but really it's just the water molecule that gets through. Finally, it's smacked with ultraviolet light to remove anything that could have gotten through. In its first phase, what you're seeing here, the price tag is $1.5 billion. Before going to anyone's home, the purified water will be sent to a lake to mix with other lake water. It's what's in place in parts of Arizona already, but not on this scale. This allows us to really maximize how much we're going to be able to recycle, and it's going to create a supply that'll be 50% of our supply portfolio. But San Diego has a second phase, which doesn't even have a price tag yet. It would bypass the lake and send the treated wastewater directly to homes. Once you understand the process and the science behind it, it really became less scary and less disgusting. That's Wichita Falls, Texas resident Clayton Lane. In 2015, at a desperate moment of drought, the small North Texas city was the first in the nation to send treated wastewater directly to homes. Just the whole um, drinking poo water, drinking sewage water, just, it just sounds terrible. Um, the marketing is awful for it, but I, I would, I would um, I would recommend just looking into it and seeing actually how it's done. Clayton says the water actually tastes better now than before. Perfect. It's perfect. It may be the future for Arizonans, too. Despite the massive upfront costs, San Diego says doing this will actually be cheaper for them. The cost of our imported water has tripled in the last 20 years and it's continuing on that trend. By 2035, they hope to provide 80 million gallons a day of water to the city of San Diego. Key will be educating residents that it's 
not gross. We had to overcome the cost of this investment. We had to overcome the stigma of starting from a wastewater source, running it through a battery of treatment technologies to purify it and improve that to the regulators and to the public. So that took some time. Arizona has a need for solutions, but Phoenix has options. It seems all of them will cost money, a lot of money, and even more time, whether that's desalination. We can't wait till it's too late to start asking these questions. Or recycled water. This has been decades in the making. The clock is ticking, and the Colorado is only shrinking. Steve Nielsen, Fox 10 News.